12 rat miners who did 27 hours of continuous digging, a 6-inch pipe that became a lifeline for the stuck labourers since November the 20th, and two stuck labourers who became leaders. This is how the 41 labourers were rescued from Uttarkashi's Silkiara tunnel after a long gap of 17 days. Firoz, Nazir, Naseem, Munna Qureshi, Monu, Irshad, 12 such rat miners from Jhansi in Uttar Pradesh had asked for 36 hours to dig their way to the 41 men stuck inside the Silkiara tunnel since November the 12th. Ultimately, these 12 men did the job within 27 hours, leading to the triumph for the human spirit in this long tunnel rescue. But there were other heroes too. One was the 6-inch pipe that reached the labourers on November the 20th, bringing them the much-needed communication line and solid food, which improved their morale and did not let the spirit strip. The other key factor was that two of the stuck labourers, Gabbar Singh and Shaba Ahmed, took the leadership role inside the tunnel and motivated other workers and ensured that the team spirit and the morale remained high. Prime Minister Narendra Modi in his call to the workers congratulated Gabbar Singh and Ahmed during his call to the 41A labourers last night and praised this duo for showing their leadership. In fact, the PM said that some university should do a case study on the leadership shown by both these village men. He said, you motivated your fellow labourers. Singh and Ahmed also told Modi how labourers kept themselves busy by hearing songs, doing yoga, taking long walks inside the tunnel. But what happened during this entire 17-day rescue effort? Well, when the debris collapsed in the Silkiara tunnel, it was reported at 5.30 a.m. on November the 12th, the centre had immediately swung into action. The auger drilling machine was airlifted to the site and drilling began to get to the labourers. Things were tough till November 20th as only a 4-inch pipe was the bridge to the stuck labourers and they had to survive only on dry fruits. But on November 20th, a 6-inch pipe could reach the labourers in what was a first breakthrough. This proved to be a lifeline as a communication line could then be established by the BSNL with the workers and a camera was sent to get the videos of the workers. Solid food was also sent along with medicines and phone chargers to keep the well workers healthy and in high spirits. The workers could use this phone line to speak to the authorities, psychologists deputed at the site as well as their own families. This improved the morale of the stuck authorities, what authorities say. This also softened the blow that was suffered in the rescue after the auger machine had broken down on November 17th. The authorities went by expert advice and the 12 rat miners were called in earlier this week from a Delhi-based firm to carry out manual digging at the site since Monday. The rat miners had apparently asked for 36 hours to complete the job as two of them manually dug into the debris while the rest of the rat miners took the debris out of the tunnel. The rat miners achieved the breakthrough within 27 hours ahead of their own target. And finally, a welded, welded pipe was inserted last evening to pull the 41 workers out. NDRF men went in too to bring the workers out of the pipe and the entire process was completed within 45 minutes after the youngest workers were the first to come out at 7.50 pm. Ultimately, the whole of government approach from the central and the state government in a mission mode and the rat miners have done the wonders.